illustrates how I'm going to endeavor to position the film packet in the mouth relative to the teeth. We'll strive to have the vertical center line of the packet aligned with the interproximal space of the centrals and the incisal edges of the teeth should approximate the quarter inch line. Now we go to our patient with the marked film and let's see whether it'll fit in her mouth. Now you see it's impossible. The film is too wide to fit in her mouth. Hence the need for folding these corners. So I'll, I'll try to fold the film along these, these indicated lines. Now by doing this, I destroy the value of the triangular parts that I'm folding back. However, the interior part of the film is still flat and that's uh, necessary to record the images properly. Now we'll insert the film in the mouth and this time it fits. Now miss, put your left thumb in the mouth, hold at the top center of the film and put your fingers against your face. Now lower your chin a little bit. There you see, oops, you're drawing it to the side. Right there. The vertical center line coincides with the space between the teeth and the incisal edges uh, agree with the quarter inch line. Now you've raised your head, so lower the chin a wee bit. Now we bring the x-ray machine into position and I want to direct the central ray at the at the um, apices of the teeth. Now we can see this from the side of the patient. Now I wish I could say we always aim at the uh, end of the nose, but noses come in assorted sizes, so I can't do that. So we aim at the apices of the centrals. Next, I want to determine